Hello, and welcome back to PTE Tutorials. In this video, we'll give you a sample essay showing how we implement the concepts that we've gone over in all the previous videos. Let's begin. Our main concepts will be the overview of the essay structure, and then finally going over the sample essay. We have a generic statement in our introduction. Then we have our thesis statement, followed by a brief summary of the main topics, arguments, and points made in the essay. Then our body paragraphs will generally have three. A topic sentence A, giving paragraph A, topic sentence B, leading into paragraph B, and then topic sentence C, leading into paragraph C. For our body paragraphs, we'll generally have three, A, B, and C. They will each have their own topic sentence, supporting sentences, and local conclusions. These sentences will support, expand, or explain the point made in the topic sentence. Then we will have a conclusion, which will give a restatement or summary of the main points made in the body, and then with a final comment. State your stand on the topic. Make sure that your ideas and vocabulary won't get repeated or are repetitive. Now let's take a look at the sample essay for the following prompt. Technology promises to make our lives easier, freeing up time for leisure pursuits. But the rapid pace of technological innovation and the split-second processing capabilities of computers that can work virtually nonstop have made all of us feel rushed. We have adopted the relentless pace of the very machines that were supposed to simplify our lives, with the result that, whether at work or play, people do not feel like their lives have changed for the better. To what extent do you agree or disagree. Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. We're going to go over our sample example. I don't necessarily feel that I need to go through and read this verbatim to you. However, I will go through and highlight the different areas and sort of explain the different things that we have gone over. First, we see that there are four paragraphs. We have the introductory paragraph, and we have the conclusion paragraph with two supporting paragraphs. So going through and looking at what we have, let's see if we can find our thesis statement. Technology is greatly enhancing the life and nature of the work of every human being. The question is, is technology making our lives better or easier? Some people opine, and so on and so forth. Eventually we get to, to see how valid these arguments are, we have to look at both sides of the debate. You can see that this is the topic sentence. First of all, let's look at the view that technology is machinery that makes lives easier. So, what does this imply? This implies that we're now going to look at different examples of how technology is making life easier. You should also note that right here, no, you should also note that we have right here a little clause that is punctuated by a comma. You can take this out and the sentence would remain the same. So, we have the topic sentence. Let's look at the supporting sentences. For instance, laundry machines wash clothes easily without using much water, detergent, and manual paper, thus avoiding a big mess. As you can see, this clearly relates to the original idea of making, of making life easier. Similarly, automobiles help us to reach destinations on time and safely, which is easier than using traditional travel methods. 
This also clearly relates back to making life easier because it shows how it's helping technology. Then for our conclusion, we have present day technology makes things very easy to use, effective, and time saving. As you can see, this sums up the previous sentences and what was originally meant from those original sentences. Now there's another paragraph which I will leave as an exercise for you to pause and analyze. Make sure that you identify the topic sentence. Review for yourself that each of these sentences refers back to the topic sentence. And then go back and make sure that the conclusion restates or concludes upon the topic sentence and then the supporting parts. Now for the conclusion. My own opinion based upon an analysis of the two aspects of modern technology is that it helps make our lives better. This is a conclusion. You have concluded from evidence a particular point. The rest of the paragraph goes on to explain why this conclusion is valid. The final sentence is simply a summing up and restatement of the entire thing. Now, we can go back and point out some grammar points as well as punctuation. The first grammar point is a misuse of conjugation. The only time that you conjugate a verb in English with something else in the present tense other than nothing is for the third person singular. Here we have a plural noun or a third person plural along with the conjugation for a third person plural. One of these needs to change. Since we're overall using automobiles as plural, we need to change helps. That is an example of a grammatical error that you can find when proofreading your paragraphs. Here, this would be considered to be a typo. There's too many spaces. However, here is a transition. This is a word that shows that there are different things going on. As well, you have commas, which show that we can take out, however, and the sentence remains largely understandable. Another aspect argues that technology is improving. The sentence makes the same amount of sense when you include however. Another aspect, however, argues. This is an example here of varied sentence structure, where we have, we have to look at both sides of the debate to see how valid these arguments are. With this varied sentence structure, you have to include a comma here, because when we speak, generally we would have a slight pause. To see how valid these arguments are, we have to look at both sides of the debate. If we had this at the beginning of the sentence, we would just have, we have to look at both sides of the debate to see how valid these arguments are. These are some observations on this essay. There are obviously many more, and I will zoom out so that you can see and pause and analyze for yourself the different aspects of this essay. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and we look forward to seeing you on the next presentation here at PTE Tutorials.